It's as I feared. You are too weak. I don't understand you, Caius. This talk of killing you and destroying the past. Do you think any of that will make Yule happy? Do you really? I don't want to please her. I want to save her. Where are you going? You're going to leave us just like that? I shall go to Valhalla. I will kill the goddess and set you free. <sighs> and that's how Caius came to abandon us and made Yule and I the last two humans left in the world. happened not long after Caius left us. It came so soon, in fact, it was over before I knew what was happening. Hey, Yule, are you okay? No. no. It's strange. I knew all along this day was coming, but I'm still not ready to say goodbye. I wish we could stay together. I'll miss you now. We don't have to cry. We will meet again. died, I finally learned the truth about the Farseers and the fate of their Seeress. Each time a Seeress sees a vision of the future, she loses a piece of her life. She dies while she is still young. That is the price to be paid for Etro's gift. I didn't know any of this. Caius chose to keep the secret from me. I couldn't forgive him for that. He knew all along what Yule's fate would be. Uh. No. Uh. I left on my journey. I thought that if I could become Etro's chosen warrior, like Caius, then I'd have the power I would need to change Yule's fate. So I set my sights on Valhalla, the home of the goddess. As I searched for Valhalla, I realized something. If it brought Yule the happiness she deserved, I didn't care what happened to me. If I died, so be it. Maybe somewhere deep down, below the layers of numbing pain, I wanted to fade away from this world completely. <sighs> Ranks of obsidian mountains pierced the heavens. Bone-white deserts choked the world with sand. No matter how far I walked, I saw no one. No matter how long I waited, the gate of the goddess didn't open.
I could no longer walk. The cold was seeping into my body, my heart beat slower, and for the first time I felt the hand of death reach out for me. I knew it was coming, and I didn't resist. Time to change the future. I can't. What? Listen to me, Sarah. The dream I've been having reminded me of something. <laughs> the power to see the future, it's a curse. But... Yule died when she was only 15. Seeing the timeline exacts a terrible toll on the body. And Sarah, you can see the timeline too. to die? Mm -mm. You're okay right now. You haven't seen as much as Yul has. Not yet, anyway. But that could change. And soon, if we alter the past, you'll see a different future. You can't avoid that vision. The more we change the timeline, the more history changes. And the more you see, the sooner the visions will destroy you. I know that I wasn't able to protect Yule, but try as I may, I can't remember what happened to her. It's like the memories of that moment have been erased from my mind, leaving an empty page. If only I'd known the truth earlier. My mind's made up. If my life is the price for saving the future, then I'm prepared to pay it. You can't sacrifice yourself like that. There's still a way. You stay alive, and we'll find your sister. All right, then. I'll follow you, Noel. And we'll find her, together. If we hurry, we just might do it in time. Then I wouldn't have to have any more visions. I'm going to believe that I get to Valhalla. What else can I do? Which means this conversation is now over. Okay. I'm going to make sure you get there. <sighs> You're still inside the dream world. There must be a hint somewhere. Let's go back to where Yule was before.
know, Sarah, I gotta thank you for not forgetting about me. You're the reason we've made it this far. Come on, Noel. You're not just the future boy anymore. You're a part of my time period as well now. saw the future that Noel fights to protect. She believed that someday, they would see each other once more. You don't have to cry. We will meet again. You. <sighs> I promise I'll never say I regret knowing you. Not anymore. I'm not going to rest until I find him again. That's right. Come on. Let's change the future. <sighs> the Oracle Drive! <gasps> I think he got scared and was hiding here all the time. The spirit of Mog had been sealed up somewhere inside the Void Beyond. Although he could see everything we did, he couldn't make us see him. He said Lightning came to rescue him, and that's how he got back to us. Then, Mog told us he had a message. A message from my sister. It was the truth about Caius. We need to talk, Kubo. Mog, tell us what you know. Koopa! I know all about Caius, Koopa. The Farseer Guardians were given a mission. They had to protect the Seeress. They were Lassie, Koopa. The Guardians were servants of the Felsi. Can that really be true? Does that mean Caius is a Lassie? Not anymore, Koopa. He was saved by the Goddess. Etro freed him, and he's not a Lassie anymore, Koopa. That's exactly what happened to me and Lightning. We were Lassie, and the Goddess intervened to free us. Kubo! But Caius became immortal too. He's lived for centuries and centuries at the side of the Seeress. He protects her always, the Undying Guardian, Kubo. He's heard every prophecy that the Seeress has seen. He knows the entire timeline. Those memories and his immortality give him tremendous power. Someone like him could easily move through history and bend and mold events as he wants. Koopa! So, he's been plotting for centuries. Yes. He's been behind everything from the very beginning. Now we know who the enemy is. It's up to us to stop him. Where did my sister go? After she helped you? She's waiting for you. At the end of time, Koopa.
So I guess this is how dreams end. No. <laughs> this is just the beginning. I've traveled the world of dreams, and at last I know the truth. It doesn't matter how tough the going gets now. I know I can face any challenge. I found it, Lightning. Hope. In the midst of despair. a lot like my era. I wonder if anyone is here. Let's look. Kupu! <laughs> no doubt about it. This is your village. But the time period... This is far into the future, after mankind is gone. The world is moving towards. Huh. Look at that. Looks like some sort of distortion. This is a future that I could not save. Is that really you, Lightning? Do you doubt me? <sighs> no, it's good to doubt. You're growing up. I knew it. It is you, isn't it? I've been looking everywhere for you. Where have you been? What was that dream you made me see? Why did you make me come out here? Just listen, Sarah. I'll explain everything. Everything that's happened to me in the past, and about the one who wants to destroy the future. More than one miracle took place that day. Cocoon was saved by Fang and Vanille's sacrifice. We awoke from our crystal sleep, and our brands were gone. It was Atro's blessing that was our salvation. A gate opened into the Unseen Realm, and through it, the Goddess gifted us with her mercy. Know what that is, Dodge? That's our home. Cocoon. Must be your first time seeing it from the outside, huh? Yeah! Daddy! You reminded me of you, and why I had to go on. I felt a whirlwind of emotions. You're the reason I'm standing here right A large part of it was happiness, and relief was there too. But somewhere inside, I still felt uneasy. Vanille and Fang were gone, and the world hung in silence. Our fight had just ended, but I couldn't relax. A new battle was about to begin. What is that? The events of that day tore open a portal to another world. Get off me! And from the depths of the rift appeared a darkness that had no place in our world. An irresistible force that dragged me away to the edge of time. The screams of the dying had unlocked a gate. A door that led directly to the throne of the goddess. Etro waited beyond the gate and sent her miracles to the human world. 
But a creeping darkness slipped through and threatened to devour our reality. Etro closed the gate and warped the timeline. Time's flow was altered and existence itself was distorted. I was lost. The darkness caught me in its embrace and wrote me out of history. Beyond time, beyond life and death. Another world of shifting gloom. The chaotic realm of the goddess Etro. What power had brought me to this alien shore? From Valhalla's heart, I could track the entire span of time. I gazed upon the future of mankind, and sensed Etro's divine will. The goddess was fading away. If her spirit should cease to be, the world would descend into entropy. I made my choice. I will fight. This man, Caius Ballad, he seeks to destroy all hope and bring an end to the future. Though the battle might be endless, I will never give up. Etro has chosen us her champions, and we cannot fail. It all started with Valhalla, is that right? Whatever came from there created the paradoxes, caused the gates to appear, and twisted the timeline. <gasps> Lightning, what did you see? I don't know. It was an enormous power, something that shouldn't exist in this world. Only Etro can control the power and keep it contained in Valhalla. If she were to disappear, there would be nothing to stop it. And that's what Caius wants. He plans to find Etro sleeping in her temple, kill her, and release the power. The chaos would be unleashed into the world of humans, into our world, through the Unseen Gate. A gate? When a person dies, her soul flies to the other world and passes through that portal. If a great many people die at once, the gate must open wide to let them through. For example, if Cocoon should fall. Exactly. It would be unstoppable. The power of chaos would gush through the gate like flood water through a broken dam. What would happen to the world then? Chaos would infect everything. It would become pure entropy, without life, or death, or time. No life or death? You mean like Valhalla? <gasps> That's what Caius is after! If he can bring down Cocoon, millions of people would die, and the power of Chaos would turn this world into another Valhalla. Yes. Caius is trying to create a world where time does not exist. If he can erase time... Yule would be saved. And not just Yule. All the Cirruses down through the ages. They'd be released from their curse. Mm. He wants to sacrifice Cocoon to rebuild the world in Valhalla's image, all for the sake of Yule. That's why you were fighting Caius in Valhalla. <sighs> You're protecting Etro. We have to face Caius on two fronts, in Valhalla and in the world of humans. If we don't, we won't be able to change the future. I can't do it on my own. I need your help. Lightning then told us what would happen to Cocoon. 
In 500 AF, the old cocoon would collapse and fall into pulse, the crystal pillar no longer strong enough to support it. By that time, Hope and the Academy would have completed the new cocoon, but... When they attempted to launch it, Caius would intervene. He would smash it into the old cocoon and bring them both down. So we have to travel to 500 AF and stop Caius from destroying Cocoon. If we can change this prophecy, then the true timeline will finally be restored. Yes. Everything will depend on you. I have to go to Valhalla and stop Caius there. Can you do it? We can do it. Right. Your good luck charm will show the way. together again, right? When all this is over? Hmm. One thing at a time, Sarah. The truth is, I didn't want to let her go. I'd come so far to find her, I was afraid to lose her again. But I had to be strong, for her sake. She had her own battles ahead of her. So I swallowed the words I wanted to say and hid my fear. It was the hardest thing I ever did. got our backs. to Noel. Let's go keep Hope's new cocoon in one piece. If we pull it off, then lightning can return the cocoon to a restored world. This is it, huh? Mm. We've been given a second chance by the goddess herself. We're going to save the cocoon that Hope built. Yep. And save the future, too. <laughs> hey, Caius. You told us you wanted to save Yule by destroying the world. That if you could take away our future, Yule wouldn't have to see any more prophecies and she wouldn't have to die. You really are a fool. Yule never wanted the world destroyed. She never gave in to despair, 
In the end, when she died, she was smiling. She saw a future of hope. Caius Ballad, I am going to fight you and show you the truth. I'm going to show you the future that you really wanted. The time foretold in the prophecies is here at last. It is 500 AF, and the crystal pillar that supports Cocoon is starting to crumble. The people of Academia have been evacuated to the new Cocoon. Now all that remains is to launch the Ark into the sky. It is the moment of reckoning. Destruction and rebirth hang in the balance. Two futures, two possibilities, and a battle to determine the fate of the world. It's like it's turning into Valhalla. We're at the time of the prophecy. The pillar is going to crumble any moment, and then the old cocoon will fall. I don't see any of the people. Do you think they've already been evacuated? Yeah. Everyone must be in the Ark. Wait! I'll bet that's Caius's target. Exactly. This must be the moment that Hope launches his new cocoon. Right? <laughs> This energy is leaking in from Valhalla. We have to stop Caius and fast. Closely, you can see there's some sort of pattern. Ah, if we get the pattern down, we can get past them.
goddess must like us. 